Hey everyone, Tony Kassara here, and this is my OLED Steam Deck, and it has a problem, a problem that many of you are also having, as I can tell from my last video, uh, which is that the headphone jack here has noise whenever you plug in sensitive headphones to it. Now, not everyone is gonna have this problem because not everyone has uh, as low impedance headphones as myself, but a lot of you seem to have them. Uh, and people who use the headphone jack in general are probably people who are more akin to having higher end or uh, specialized audio headphones anyhow. Uh, so in my last video, I talked about sort of what I thought was going on and I gave you some solutions in the form of using a, a USB dongle so you can connect to here and then just have audio output from that. That totally works. That circumvents the problem entirely. Um, but when it comes to fixing the headphone jack itself, one Reddit user actually believes that they have the solution, some Captain Tape. Now, what this is, this is basically electrical insulation tape. What they basically proposed is by taking the screws that are surrounding the headphone jack and using a little bit of captain tape in between the contact of the head of the screw and the board. Basically, we're isolating the headphone component from the rest of the system so that any electrical interference is not picked up by it. The problem is this isn't exactly a perfect solution. And so I'll show you uh, now what I did to try to implement this fix. And what you'll basically see is that I started off by removing the two screws that have the sort of copper brass connection to them. Uh, this is where the Reddit user suggested to start. And so I removed first the one on the right, which they said did most of the, the reduction for them, and then the one on the top. The one on the top is very difficult to reach. Um, and in fact, I think most people watching this, I certainly struggle with dexterity and stuff like that, are gonna have a hard time doing the fix. So uh, I started with just the one on the right to make sure that doing that one alone might not make a difference. So I put down my tape, I used a knife to poke a hole through it, and then I screwed my screw back in. I made sure that there was enough uh, space around it so that the top of the screw, the head of the screw, um, was pressing against the captain tape itself and not the board. Um, and so once I did that, I turned around the Steam Deck, I turned it on, and I noticed that there was a, a subtle reduction, maybe 50% in the amount of noise, but I could definitely still hear it. Um, and so then I went back and I did the other one as well. And once I had both of them done, I noticed somewhere between maybe like a 60 to 70% reduction in noise. Now for a lot of people watching this video, that might be considered fix. For myself, I'm pretty picky about this kind of stuff and uh, my headphones are very sensitive. So being able to hear it at all for me really wasn't going to work. So just to be safe, I decided to try also on the third screw in the area that I am not sure whether or not it's actually touching the headphone jack PCB, um, but I assume it couldn't hurt to try. So I put the tape under there as well and really I didn't see any more improvement at that point. Like I said, I got about a 60 to 70% reduction in the noise, but it's still there. So when it's quiet, I can still hear it. And like I said, that for me is not going to be a solution. And I think for some of you, it's not going to be either. I also just want to quickly weigh the pros and cons of this. So some people are saying that it will affect your Wi-Fi. In my testing, I had no decrease in my Wi-Fi, no drops in my, in my network connection. Um, I was able to download just fine, as you can see from the footage here. It was very tedious and difficult to do this fix. And quite honestly, like even compared to changing the hard drive, this one is a little bit more tedious and a little bit more dangerous because you have to get the tape on. It's on a very sensitive area, the headphone jack. Um, you really don't want to have to like poke a hole through it the way I did, but it's so hard to get a hole in this tape unless it's exactly where you need it to and then just doing it over the screw hole itself. And so if you feel pretty handy and this bothers you, I would maybe try to do that fix first um, before doing anything else. For me, my solution is still going to be to use a USB-C dongle. Personally, I think it sounds way better than the headphone jack. And also it's just something that I know will isolate all the noise entirely. Um, for those of you who are thinking about RMAing your Steam Deck, a few of you have commented that Valve is accepting an RMA for it. I don't know if that's true or not, but even if they accept the RMA, I don't know if they can actually fix it. And even if they do, if they're doing this, if they're just putting Clapton tape on it, I mean, you can do it yourself. The tape costs like eight or nine dollars on Amazon. If you have the tools already like I do, you know, make sure you have a tweezer set. 
because if you RMA it and you send it back to Valve and you're without your deck for a couple weeks and then you get it back and you're still not happy with the sound, well, you just went without your deck for like two or three weeks for something you could have done yourself at home in an hour and um, you're not any better off than you were before. So yeah, uh, if you want to try this, go ahead. For me personally, I'm not gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be using the USB-C dongle. I hope you liked this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you found it useful, please like it and uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.